Hey, Taco here. I thought it would be fun to do a little bit of math. Uh, and I asked people before on the various uh, paramotor groups, hey, how long does it take you to glide down? I was watching Chucky Wright's video very recently uh, where he, uh, he went up to 17,500 feet and then he talked about coming down and gliding down and how long it was going to take him. But he cuts the video off, so I don't really get to see a whole lot of gliding. Uh, so I was wondering, and I've asked people on the... Uh, on the Facebook groups before, like, you know, how long, how long does it take you to glide down? And so my goal Sunday is to take off and fly up uh, 10,000 feet, maybe. Let's make the math easier. I said eight, but you know, hey, you know, 2,000 more feet, who cares? Um, and I was like, well, if I get up to 10,000 feet, and even if I just go to idle, don't cut the motor off, but just go to idle, you know, how long does it take me to get back down? Um, so I had to figure out uh, some math stuff, and I'm going to see if I'm right, uh, see, if, see how this works. So I'm thinking uh, if, I, if I go forward, let's see. First of all, let's see a, a 1 to 6 glide ratio, right, is what I uh, assume that um, glide ratio is what I assume I'm going to probably have. And then if I'm going forward at like 30 miles per hour, um, that way. Um, then I can go about, uh, so 30 miles per hour is about half a mile, oops, excuse me, 0.5 mile per minute, uh, which works out to 20, which works out to 2640 feet per minute forward. So if I'm going 2640 feet per minute forward, and y'all tell me if my math is off, 2640. Now, if I divide that by six, um, so if I'm going forward 2640 feet per minute, then I would be going down uh, 440 feet per minute. Um, 440. Uh, so y'all tell me if I did that right. So if my glide ratio is one to six and I'm going forward at 2640 feet per minute, then I should be going down at 440 feet per minute, uh, which puts me at um, going about 11 miles forward and then coming down this 10,000 feet. Uh, and if I divide that out, um, 10,000 divided by 440 gives me about a 22 minute glide. So to glide from 10,000 feet down to my takeoff altitude, which is about 200 feet. I'm, I'm very close to sea level. My takeoff altitude down to 200 feet. So that gives me about 22 minutes to come back down. So y'all tell me if I'm right or not, and then I'll put it to the test to see uh, exactly how far, uh, how far I go. Now, this 30 miles an hour is a round figure. I mean, I'm probably closer to 25 or so, so that's gonna affect the math. Um, but either, either way, from 10,000 feet at idle, it should take me about 20 minutes to come down. So we'll see what happens Sunday if I get to fly, if the weather holds out. So look for that. Uh, this has been Math with Taco. Remember, rule one, don't go splat.